This video is related to iMac Mailer, a mass mailing software made by FK Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about SMTP settings. When you send email messages, you use an SMTP email account on a SMTP server. And now we will set it up. Press the preference button on the toolbar to open preferences dialog box and uh, select the first tab which is outgoing settings and take a look at, uh, at this window on the left side you have uh, a SMTP account list and you have uh, two buttons here used to add and remove SMTP accounts we need to add one so we press the plus button and um, new SMTP account wizard appears on the screen we enter uh, the full name associated with uh, this SMTP account and we enter email address again associated with this SMTP account which is going to be used as from email address in all your messages sent uh, through this account and press the continue button on the next page you enter outgoing SMTP server host IP address or internet name IP address looks like four numbers separated with dot and it looks like this or internet address it looks like this normally internet address for uh, an SMTP account starts with with a SMTP prefix or it can be or it can have a mail prefix or it can be just the main name so I enter my SMTP server internet address now let's enter port Connection to an SMTP server is usually established on port 25 or if uh, the connection is encrypted it could be port uh, 587 for a TLS connection or for a regular connection or port 465 if uh, SSL is used I wish to use SSL on port 465 because my server supports it next option is reconnection by default we wish to reuse the same connection for all the messages sent it means that once you log in to this MTP server you just send messages one by one at a very high speed but this mode which is often called as a pipeline mode sometimes not available on some accounts and uh, if you use this option and uh, the program doesn't send messages keeps aborting try to use the first option which is reconnect after every message sent will work slowly slower but it will be much better compatible I wish to use uh, the pipeline mode so I choose the second option and I press the continue button now my account is verified it means that the uh, connection can be successfully established using my internet address and host uh, internet address and port and now we need to enter user ID and password most of uh, outgoing SMTP accounts require user ID and password to send messages so we 
should definitely enter it. I enter my user ID. And I enter my password. And uh, my server actually supports uh, two authentication uh, schemes. The first one is plain authentication and the other one is login. So I can choose plain or uh, login option here. But if your server supports Serum MD5, you can also use it. Or if your server doesn't support authentication, which is very rare, you can leave none. And if you leave none, you don't have to enter user ID and password. But since my server supports and requires authentication, I use it. And I press the continue button. The next step is sending throttling. Sending throttling is used uh, when your server limits you in sending. Most of uh, SMTP server, servers don't allow you to send more than... Uh, 100 or 200 messages per hour so if this is the case you need to enable throttling and uh, enter the number of messages here and uh, pause I'll put one hour here it means that after sending 100 messages the program should pause sending for one hour and then repeat sending, send another batch of 100 messages and again pause for another hour and let's press the continue button failure management failure management is very useful feature for instance even if you don't use throttling and leave it like this, disabled, you can still use the failure management setting so that the program, once it encounters a sending error, for instance you go over limit and the server disconnects you, the program will pause sending for, for a specified time interval and then will retry sending and it will retry them uh, in this example 60 times and then sending will fail but if uh, sending can be resumed after this time interval the, pro the program will send messages again until it fails again and uh, the whole cycle will repeat Normally, it's a good idea to use the 10 minute pause with the 60 retries. For instance, if uh, your server allows you to send only 100 messages per hour, the program will uh, definitely fail after sending 100 messages. And uh, after 10 minutes, another attempt will be made. And if it's an hourly limit, the program will make uh, six unsuccess unsuccessful attempts and on the seventh attempt it will successfully say send another batch of 100 messages and so on we want to use this failure management option we enable it and press the continue button and our account is now added to the account list after it appears in this list, we can choose it and we can modify different things for this account. We can modify name, sender name. We can modify from email address or uh, host. Port encryption, user ID, password, everything and throttling options are available by clicking on this tab so if uh, later we want to set up a sending throttling we can do it 
If you don't need this account anymore, you can remove it. You just need to press to select it and press this minus button. An account is removed. And this is pretty much it about SMTP settings. Thanks for listening.